Welcome to Mosse Cyber Security Institute. My name is Benjamin Mosse and I'm the founder of the Institute. Our online learning platform offers 1,000 practical cyber security exercises to train anybody for 10,000 hours on cyber security, regardless of the skill level or the experience of the person. We've designed each and every one of our exercises to be very similar to a work task that you would be expected at some point in your career to complete. So every one of our exercises are there to teach you skills that can immediately be applied in the field. This is very different than other methods of learnings available to you. The platform has no walkthrough. It doesn't have any PDFs. You can think of it as having basically a boss that tells you, hey, I would like you to do this, and I would like you to do that, and I want you to do something else. And through this ongoing practice in a control environment, where you're receiving feedback from instructors, where you have a forums where you can ask questions, where you can join a Slack channel, where you can receive some help. In essence, you're learning all the skills that you would need to succeed in your career. And that's really what we're all about at Mose Cyber Security Institute. We want to help you advance in your career, whether it is to land your first job in the industry, or it is if you want to move in another vertical of cyber security, or if you know, you're maybe already an experienced person, but you wish to go to the next level and challenge yourself. So let us show you how some of the exercises that we've prepared look like and how you would be expected to complete them if you purchase our bundles or even if you just subscribe for the free version online. Thank you very much. Welcome everyone to Mosse Cybersecurity Institute's online learning platform. Today, I'm gonna to run you through the free version of our platform, which has 65 practical exercises, as well as how to use all the cool features that we have to offer. So as you can see, first up, we've got the dashboard where we keep track of how our community is thriving. So we've got the number of students, the number of submissions we've received, and the number of videos that are available in our platform. As well as that, you can keep track of the goals that you've set for yourself to help succeed in your career. And then in the My Competencies area here, you can keep track of it, how you're going and how many points you're accumulating for every category that we have to offer. As well as on the dashboard, we have a getting started section, which goes through the mindset you need to succeed in cybersecurity, as well as some beginner roadmaps. So this is great when you're starting out and you're not sure which path to go down and you, we look at the exercises mapped out so you can start with some non-technical exercises and learn the basics of cybersecurity or if you want to become a red teamer or a penetration tester, then we've uh, mapped out the exercises that are relevant to that career path that you would need to know. Now let's have a look at one of the exercises. So we'll go into all exercises and uh, as you can see at the top, these are all the categories that we cover in the free version of our platform. But we want to have a look at a red teaming one because red teaming is good fun. And I really like the Write a programming that captures clipboard data exercise. So all of the exercises have the same layout. So we've got the, the green box here to let you know it's a red teaming exercise. It's at a novice difficulty and it's worth one point. And then we estimate someone who's at, at the novice skill level, it would take about one to six hours to complete. And oftentimes we find that because of the exercises built in a practical nature, and as you can see, there's no PDF slides, no PowerPoint slides, or, no video walkthroughs where you just sort of copy what's in the video. It's all practical and research based like it is in the workplace. So it may take you in that one to six hours the first time to complete this exercise. But if you're going to immediately uh, apply the skill you've learned in the field, you'd be able to do it a lot quicker. So as you can see here, we've got a bit about the exercise as well as the learning objective. So what we want you to take away from completing this exercise and some actions and specifications uh, that we're looking for in your solution. And as well as that, we don't wanna make it too hard. So we do give you some research um, with some references to point you in the right direction. So all of our exercises are assessed with a video submission. So we'll get you to do a screen recording of the solution actually working and upload that to us. 
So now I'll quickly show you a solution of this exercise where one of our students sent an awesome submission in where they wrote a program that captured clipboard data. Awesome. Now from this point on, obviously we need an environment to work in. So we've got our lab set up exercises here. Well, we'll walk you through how to create these environments. So as you can see here, we let you know how to set up the video recording to help you submit the exercises. We've got an exercise here on showing you how to create virtual machines so you can help set up a multiple VMs to do all of the exercise that we offer. And then here in the software development, we help you set up a programming environment to uh, obviously write all the code for all of our exercises. One awesome feature our students love is the career progression feature. So this is again where we've mapped out exercises to certain career paths. So if you want to take up an internship and become a winter or summer cybersecurity intern, we've got the exercises mapped out to what will really help you succeed in that role. And as well as that, if you do go on and become a full-time cybersecurity intern, which is the goal of many newcomers to the industry, then we've got the exercises mapped out for all the practical skills that are really fundamental that you need to know to succeed in the industry. Additionally from here, one feature we have which works really well with this is the goal setting feature. So if we have a look here, I've set up a goal to get a job promotion and I've identified the exercises that I need to help me get to that position. Additionally to this, we do offer some free videos and as you can see them here. So one of the awesome videos we have is uh, here, like for example, five tips to help dominate your next red team engagement, where we just discuss pretty much different tactics that a red team is used to help really su succeed in their engagements. One fun feature we have as well is the rankings area. This is great because what we have is the Hall of Fame, an individual leaderboard, which uh, any member in our community is a part of, and uh, they can uh, continually submit exercises to help improve their skills and see how they rank against the rest of our community. And then if you wanted to join a team and team up with other members in our community or some of your colleagues from the workplace or fellow students at university, we've got a team leaderboard section where you can make a team and take on some of the other cybersecurity teams we have in our community on the leaderboards. If at any point in time you do get a bit stuck on the exercises and need an additional bit of help, which happens to everyone, we've got an awesome questions and answers section here where you can post a question and you'll receive an answer. Another awesome feature we have is our shop feature. So if you finish all of the 65 exercises, you can come here and get some more. Or if you just wanna specialize in a certain area, this is where you'll end up. So if you want to say get a certification and either join our remote internship program or become a MRT certified red teamer, you can take up our certifications there. Or if you want to do something a bit more specialized, we have uh, bundles, for example, teaching you Metasploit. We have bundles with unofficial exercises that will prepare you for the OSCP. And we've got introduction bundles, which give you a taste of some exercises and in this case, some digital, digital forensics exercises. And then as well as that, we have our master bundle. So each category we have, where you can unlock a month's worth of training for any area you're interested in. Additionally to this, when you submit an exercise, you'll get a pass or fail. That's simple, we don't give you our grades, we just want to know you've learned the skill to, and your solution works. And then you can uh, tweak your awesome results to the world and your Twitter followers. So that's our platform. We hope you really love it and uh, join our community and we can't wait to see your submissions coming through soon.